Well, this is a follow-up video on the Great Little Belt Grinder. Uh, I'm going to discuss uh, how to make the steel plate for your motor mount on the lathe instead of a mill. A lot of people don't have a mill. Uh, I'm going to discuss how to make a, uh, or at least one option on how to make a jig for a cutoff tool uh, sharpener. It just slides across uh, your tool rest. And we're going to discuss uh, a couple of concerns uh, about making this and this guard right here. It's like a spark deflector. Anyway, uh, let's get on with it and see what we can come up with. One thing I didn't cover very good in the uh, previous two videos was the height of this upright. Uh, it's determined by the belt length you use. I've got a 42 inch arm here. I think I made this 24 inches tall. It's inch and a half square tubing. You could probably use one inch. Uh, basically, I put the belt on it and kind of held it up there and, and, and then marked the hole position with, with the front of the belt perfectly vertical. Of course, that's pretty important right there. Uh, this pivot length right here, the pivot arm, uh, if you make it longer, you can use the smaller spring. I made mine about three inches. Uh, the spring tension is kind of a trial and error thing. I ended up buying a different spring. I also put an extra hole in the top here. Uh, that way I can run 24 inch, I mean a 42 inch and 48 inch belts. Uh, main reason I went with 42 is a little bit cheaper. Seems to be uh, a more available belt length. Uh, but mainly just because I had it. Anyway, let's move on to the next topic. Give it a try on the way to see what it does. It's auto feed. I'd say it's doing good. Inch and a quarter bar. Uh, Three thirty second tool, I guess. Eight inch. Take that back. It's eight inch. Bog the lathe down a little bit, but no other hesitation. Not through. There we are. Looks like a pretty good cut, if you ask me. Here's 
something useful I made. I made a video on it. It's got a one by one bar bolted to the bottom of a half inch steel plate. It goes in your metal vise. And you can put large oversized pieces of steel in there or real long pieces. I want to cut an eighth of an inch out of this. And put it in there like that. Clamp it down. Touch off, reset my DRO. And move one eighth of an inch or a sixteenth, whatever I want to do. Perfectly square. If you're working with an odd, odd shaped piece of steel, it works great. Okay, what I'm going to do here is show how to cut, cut the motor mount out in your lathe. If you don't have a mill. Printed out a template, cut it out. Now I'm going to transfer the holes, 3 8 holes, as for the center. And that right here is where I want to cut. I'm going to transfer the four outer circle. Now I've got four mounting holes and I defined the circle. Okay, now I've got a center right there. And I've put a little drill which may not be the best, but makes it easier to see. A center would kind of obscure that mark. Let me zoom in on that. Pretty darn close, actually. Looks pretty doggone straight. Okay, I got a motor here. It's a little bigger motor. That's actually a three-quarter shaft on this one. Uh, it's a horse and a quarter. I don't know, kind of an oddball horsepower. Anyway, it's got the same mount as the three-quarter or one horsepower uh, J56 or 56 mount. And that's what that is. What we want to do, though, is make sure this is the same height as this. The motor I just mounted on my grinder, this was actually sticking up a sixteenth of an inch. So we're going to have to cut down about an eighth of an inch there and about a quarter inch wide right there. Then we'll have to open this up a little bit right there and then it'll just slip down over. We won't have to cut clear through. A tip like that's not going to work because the curve of what I'm cutting here will hit that. And the boring bars, they're made with that radius on there so that it'll hopefully cut and clear. I'm setting my dial back at zero. Right there. And just to be on the safe side, we'll check all four holes. Looks good. 
probably should have shortened that a little bit. Boring bar is cutting pretty smooth though. Well, that's a little over an eighth of an inch. The motor was right at an eighth. Okay, I got this a little bit over the dimension on the motor. I'd rather be just a hair loose than too tight. Uh, now I gotta do the same thing here. I gotta open that up to about an inch and a quarter. Quarter inch deep, or eighth inch deep. a little better. Well over an eighth of an inch. Oh yeah, that's it. Almost a perfect fit. A little bit of slop, which is what I was aiming for. Now all I got to do is drill these four holes. They'll line up with that. And that's, a, that's a motor mount. I had a viewer comment about this pulley not being keyed to the shaft. The only thing holding, holding it on is that nut sitting against a small flange. And to be honest with you, I've thought about that. I tried it on my 3 inch grinder and never had a better problem. Uh, but then I got to worrying about it, so I came up with a plan here. What I'm going to do is drill through that washer and into the pulley and put a set screw in there, an 832 set screw. That way if this pulley turns on the shaft, it'll tighten that nut. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a problem, and I'll be able to monitor it. I'll be able to see if that set screw moves. But it shouldn't hurt a thing to put a set screw in there. I think I probably need to get a little bit longer set screw. That'll probably work, but longer would be better. Anyway, you get the idea. Okay. One more thing I want to do to the grinder. Put this deflector on. The sparks coming off the bottom of that wheel present kind of a fire hazard. If nothing else, they're kind of destructive to my workbench. So some way to deflect the sparks. The three inch one didn't seem to do as bad. This one takes it off a little bit faster. Let's see what it does with the sparks. That's about what I thought it would do. Well that about wraps it up for today. I drew up some plans for this grinder here. Uh, the plans call for either a 6x6 six six steel plate two of them, or six by eight steel plates, depending on which grinder you want to build. There's, uh, you can build it either way with a, a, a four and a half inch drive or a, a three inch drive. The three inch drive is, if you've got a half horsepower motor, that's probably appropriate. If you've got a three quarter horsepower or one horsepower, you can go with the uh, four and a half, maybe even a five, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, oh, and there's also a uh, motor mount template for a 56 motor mount. Uh, anyway, that wraps it up, and thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe.